All right. Hello, friends. How is everybody doing today? Cakey Snakey, tell everybody that we have a cool video today for them, sir. All right. Tell them what we have in the background here. Tell them we got some very cool Hot Wheels monster trucks. And today we are going to go through these all and we are going to take a closer look at them and review them. Okay. Can you tell everybody, hey, sir? All right, good boy. So anyway, got some very neat stuff, family. Like always, we got to give Cakey Snakey here some treats, and we will be right back with you to do this review. All right, fam, thank you for being here. We'll be right back. All right, Diecast, Die Castle, and Monster Truck friends and family, we are back. to do a very cool uh, unboxing for you guys today. So in the background I have, I can't remember what case that this is. Let's take a look at the back of the pack real quick. So anyway, now I picked these up. These are from, uh, these say new for 2023. Uh, so these were 2023 models. And I picked them up in a Easter dump bin. This is a, a case. Uh, that never kind of hit my area, so I was very excited to see these in the Easter dump bin. Uh, these were a few trucks that I wasn't able to pick up, and I'm glad that I got them. So anyway, let's look at all the trucks that are in this uh, case. Now, I only got the three trucks that are new, because the other trucks that we have here were all uh, carryovers, and I usually don't pick up the carryovers, but I did pick a couple of these out of my collection uh, to show you guys uh, a couple of the other trucks. You guys have probably seen Gunkster before. I think I did him in one of my video reviews. And then we have the Buds uh, Lightyear. We have Night Shifter here. Um, the Hotwiler in this like um, maroon and with like a blue collar, I believe. Okay, and then we got the Board to be Wild. Very cool uh, casting. The, the, the skate figure actually comes off the board. Very neat. Then we got Bear Devil in the black with like the neon colors. And then we have this new recolor of the snake bite in this like red and black. So very cool st uh, stuff in this mix. I was excited to find it because I'd never had a chance to pick up these three. But today I have picked up these three out of this case. And I'm going to uh, unbox them and review them for you guys. So very cool stuff. Very glad to see this. I don't know why the uh, shipping... Uh, is so the shipping chain is so messed up right now, but I guess they're having problems with delivering or manufacturing or whatever. But it's uh, understandable. A lot of things are uh, going on in the world right now. But um, like I said, I'm just very glad that they finally did show up, and I'm going to uh, open these up and we're going to take a look at them today, guys. So anyway, here is the uh, the Bear Devil in that black with the neon lines, like the neon lights colors. And then here is the, um, what is this, uh, the snake bite. I, I keep wanting to call it the, uh, the, the rattler or the rattlesnake or the snake rattler. <laughs> I can't remember the name. It's the snake bite, though. Very cool truck. And then uh, first off, before we open up those three, I want to show you two of the other uh, castings that were in this wave that I pulled off my shelf because they were uh, carryovers. Now, this is a very good carryover, so if you guys didn't get this bone shaker with the uh, the pizza delivery, it's got the uh, Italian colors there, very neat, got the little uh, pizza guy running, got the cheese like uh, sliming down the roof top there, melting down the roof, a little bit of cheese here melting down the side, very cool colors. I really uh, absolutely love this truck with the red beadlock rims. There's your little uh, bone shaker skull in the front. Very cool casting, and it's very nice to see this truck again. Uh, so for you guys that missed it, uh, here's your chance to uh, pick it up. And then we have this uh, Hotwiler. Very cool colors. Almost looks like uh, Tasmanian Devil colors with the brown mouth here. See a little pink on the inside of the cheek. I'm not sure. Maybe that's his tongue. Very cool uh, teeth going on here in the front kind of got this like light brown brownish tannish chassis and the red beadlock rims really pull it together 
uh, with the red or the maroonish color um, body of this, like I said, like a Tasmanian devil. Here we got the chrome pipes, the little chrome chain where he broke off the chain. So this was a very cool truck. I like to see uh, repeats. You know, it helps. Um, it helps people pick up trucks that they missed. And it also is good that they're not all uh, new trucks in the mix, you know, because sometimes my wallet needs a break. So sometimes only having uh, three or four new trucks in the mix is kind of re a relief. It gives people a chance to uh, catch up and it and it uh, gives me a chance to catch up and buy other um, Hot Wheels or castings or things that that I like also. So it's a kind of a win-win situation. It's a very good balance. So anyway, let's go ahead and open up the board to be wild. Very uh, cool model. Let's go ahead and get right into it, man. We've already seen all the artwork. Actually, there's the artwork for you guys. And this is how you know if they're new in the case. It'll, it'll say new right here, which I kind of like. So that way you know if you can't remember if it's been a repeat or not. So if you see that new, you know it's not been a, a repeat and it's something new that's in this case. All right, so this guy's got a little bit of extra plastic going on there. And we still have these uh, the little crush cars. Very neat stuff. Actually, I had a... Uh, a blue one sitting over there already so now i got a blue one to go with the uh the red one one looks like a kind of race car this one almost looks like a station wagon very cool stuff but here we go guys let's let me show you right off the beginning so he's got little he's got little pegs and you can take him off so you can take a look at that artwork look at the artwork on that thing very crazy i, I can't even tell what's going on i just see a lot of eyeballs what's that like a nose socket bones and teeth look like almost guts or something inside this thing eyeballs kind of popping looks like he's got slime and stuff dripping down very wild um very wild graphics on this but i did think that that was uh very cool that the guy uh popped up off of the the board let me move these out of the background just trying to focus on those things and we want to focus on the skater dude oh look here on the uh the chassis and you see like those uh, skeleton, it looks like, maybe it's just me, but those kind of look like uh, skeleton bones down there on the frame of this thing. You guys let me know. I believe that it is because look here on the tires, we got uh, skeleton bones and stuff too on the, uh, on the rollers. <laughs> Very cool. I like the pink, the green, the black, the blue, the yellow, just all kinds of board to be wild colors on this one. Very cool stuff, family. All right, moving right on to the next one. And now we have the snake bite. Very cool. I uh, We had this in a green, and now we have this in a uh, black and red. New for 2023. All right, let's get into it. Very cool stuff. Oh, here we go. Looks like I have picked up a green, some kind of green crush car. Let's see. Oh. Yeah, this looked like some kind of a rally truck, different than the one I just showed you guys. Let me see, I believe. Yeah, see, that one's like a rally car looking. That almost looks like rally cat. And then now we have almost like this rally truck. It's cool that they make those little castings of the crush cars different. All right, here we go, snake bite. Look at the eyeball on this. So aggressive in this uh, red and black little Firestone livery there on the side. I honestly, I can't tell in the white what's going on there. You guys know uh, what that is? It looks almost like a skeleton dragon or something. I'm not sure. You guys let me know in the comments what this little white uh, figure here is. It looks like rib cage or maybe wings. I honestly, I honestly can't tell. I'm sure it has something to do with the snake. Maybe it's like snake skeleton. I don't know, guys. I have to take a closer look at that off camera. If you know, uh, let me know in the comments. Anyway, here we got Snake Bite across the uh, the side of this. Let me see if I can get it to focus in. See the little the S on the Snake Bite is like a uh, uh, a rattlesnake coiled up, ready to strike. Cool black frame. Got that chrome motor in there kicking. Gray wheels. 
Uh, no cool designs on the tires, but we definitely have this very cool uh, snake head graphics going on on the hood with this black and red. Looks amazing. That Firestone across the windshield looks really good. The two snake fangs, very cool stuff. I love how they painted these little uh, kind of like roll bars, part of the chassis white there to make them look like the fangs. And then kind of the same deal going on over on the other side, man. I'm very curious. Let me know what that white graphics there is on the side. I, I can't make it out, but, you know, also I can't see super great, though, either. That chrome motor is looking killer back there. Very neat truck, guys, man. I, I'm liking this one a, a lot. You guys let me know if you like this one, too, or if you found it. Very cool stuff. All right, last one in this video, family, the Bear Devil. A little bit of Bear Devil uh, artwork for you guys, man. Looking very cool. New for 2023. The three new ones out of this mix. Let's get into it and check out the last one, and we're going to wrap up this video. All right, so we got another crush car, but this time this one is in orange. Let's see what we got. Yeah, see, so now we finally got, we finally got a repeat. This is the van, but um, it is in a different color. Very cool. I said van. I meant station wagon, but now we have it in a orange and a red, so at least it's a recolor. Very neat. All right, Bear Devil, the one, uh, the moment that you guys have been waiting for, I know, because this is a super uh, fun casting, man. Who doesn't like a big uh, grizzly bear uh, model? Look at that big old bear nose there on the front of this thing, man. This is such a cool model. Now, it's done in all shiny gloss black, and even the slobber going down the bear's uh, mouth right there, they did that in a neon color. Very cool. Loving how they did the black frame, the black wheels, and then a little bit of hint of green on those bead locks on the frame there. Pulling this truck together, making it really good to kind of match these neon green accents. Very nice job on this truck. Very cool Hot Wheels in the collection. Look at the little bear's tail. You can even kind of see the fur in the uh, casting there. A little camper topper with the Hot Wheels logo. A little yellow neons kind of highlighting the, uh, the outline, the shape of the body of the bear coming up here onto his ears and eyebrows and the bear fur. A little cool blue ring around the uh, the camper topper on the, sp on the spit. Here we go. We got a uh, blue glass uh, windshield for the eyeballs. Let's look at the front of the truck. Man, this thing really does look like a bear. They did a really good job on this thing, guys. Love the nose and the eyebrows. Everything about this truck is uh absolutely wonderful glad to have it in the collection i i found the other two i can't remember which colors the other two were i know we had a brown bear and i can't remember the other color of the other bear but it's very cool to find this uh neon uh color bear um to add it to my collection in the mix look at the light shining through the eye there in the background very cool stuff man very cool details on this i hope you guys enjoyed this video I'm going to set all five of these trucks up here on my stand. We're going to take one last look at them, family, and then we are going to uh, wrap this video up. Bored to be wild. The Bear Devil. We got that bone shaker for you guys. Snake bite. And here we go. We got the Hot Wilder. Very cool set. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. This is Brian with the Diecast, and we are signing out. All right, fam, take it easy. Peace.